Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for joining us. I don't know what I was more excited about, why my heart was racing more. Was it the racing or that we're going to have chocolate, chocolate. coverage? Yeah, chocolate, <laughs> chocolate coverage, strawberries, peaches. Uh, yeah. Thanks for coming in, first oh, of all. Welcome. This is great. Yeah, Isabella Chocolate. She's Karen, This is Karen Day. Thank you so much for you're joining welcome. us this morning. She's had quite a I told her, I said, we really want to know how you make this chocolate so good. What kind of chocolate do you use? How do you make it so special? So she agreed to let us know a little bit about her secret recipes. That, that was Kirsten's way of getting you to come in and make chocolate <laughs> make in the chocolate. morning. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. No, sounds good. Tell us what goes into this. Yeah. You know, we use um, organic and natural and fresh ingredients. Um, and here's our secret. Sharpenberger, oh. chocolate, and they're all natural cocoa. And we make our sauces in small batches. Okay. Um, and did you find out about us because of the Edwards and Vale Farmers Market? Yeah, because All you right. go. So you, tell everyone where You're you are. You're one of the more usually. popular booths out there. Yes, you are very popular. Who booth. doesn't love chocolate? I. Um, <laughs> there are about two people. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not here today. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll try and get a tight shot of this so you guys can see the chocolate that we're talking about. It's right here. And we're going to um, have you on uh, throughout the morning preparing some things. What are you going to prepare today? Um, you know, we're going to show people how they can use our sauces because what's wonderful about our sauces is that they're simple and they're elegant. Mm -hmm. um, you can incorporate them into your meals or you can just open the jar. I and notice there's a lot of butter involved. Which I like <laughs> yes, so. there, there's, yeah. some, there's butter, <laughs> there's heavy cream. And this is the sauce that you're talking about. Yes, exactly. And so. we have seven flavors. Okay. Um, and what we use in our sauces, as I said, is uh, butter, cream, <laughs> All the things sugars. that do make it very good. Yep. And is this a recipe Healthy that stuff. you came up with? Or is it this a recipe? is. You know, we started about 30 years ago. Um, I'm going to put this chocolate in so it'll start to, to warm up along with the butter. Okay. We started about 30 years ago um, in college. And at that point, it was my husband and me. Mm -hmm. And we would go out late, late, late at night, hunting for ice cream as an excuse to make the chocolate sauce. And so we'd been fiddling for 30 years. Wow. And you know, our story is that we were at the farmer's markets. We're from Castle Rock mm -hmm. all last summer, faithfully. And, and we got to the end of the farmer's market and we looked at each other. Um, and by this time we have a grown daughter and a son-in-law. And we all kind of said, why aren't we selling our chocolate sauce? You know, we had been giving it away to friends and family for oh. years, and the family joke was that everybody remembered our chocolate sauce and nobody remembered us. <laughs> but that's a good way to be remembered, <laughs> yeah. not so, yeah. sweet. <laughs> right. Sweet. And so, and what a neat story. And so now you've actually put it in the containers. We can buy them at the farmer's right. markets. And it goes with anything. So you brought in all sorts of different items that we can make chocolate with. Strawberries, obviously, one of my favorites. Yep. Well, my question is, what it, what's the most random thing that you hear people putting chocolate on to enhance the flavor? Huh. Mm. You know, I mean, these are the probably, typical strawberries, You know, bananas. what we have over here is we have seven sauces, and our newest one is a chili cinnamon, and that's probably the most random because what it's absolutely wonderful on is grilled chicken or grilled pork tenderloin right before you pull them off the grill. If you'll just oh. heat the sauce a little bit so that it can be drizzled onto them. You're making that's me pretty hungry. unusual. I know. That sounds, you know, that's neat too that you're saying with pork tenderloin, you kind of forget that chocolate isn't just for fruit and for something sweet, but you can actually add it to a dish to give it the exactly. accent flavor. And that particular chili cinnamon sauce is, you know, it's almost like a mole. It's not, mm -hmm. but it is. Now, the other thing I have to say that's really fun and unusual, and, and so I brought this along to show, is that this can be, our chocolate sauce can be used you know, somebody called it um, chocolate nachos. There's a wonderful new product out, which is chocolate tortilla chips. <laughs> yeah. And if you put our sauce into just yeah, a bowl. I'm down yeah, with this. You're, yeah, exactly. I'm speaking my language here, Karen. So this yep. is a chocolate, chocolate tortilla you made chips with chocolate sauce. Yeah. And so it's salty and sweet. And yes. it's an aphrodisiac. <laughs> See, this is like <laughs> the ultimate said that, thing. This is not the not ultimate thing for, for Super Bowl Sundays. Yeah. You ladies out there, you're trying to get your man's attention. Chocolate yep. tortilla <laughs> chips and sauce. I'm telling you. Oh, that would up. be a way to change it yep. up. You girls are the ones blushing here, not me. Yeah. Now, the other thing is that our sauces are absolutely wonderful with 
either a kind of a, a, a dry red yeah. or a port. This is a port made by another Colorado vintner, LaRue Vigneault. Did you bring us wine, Great. too? So yeah. This is, this is going to be a good morning. I know. I'm so this is a chocolate a port that we're looking at here. And what a great, great signature. And who is the vineyard that did this? LaRue Vineyards, and they're out of Hotchkiss. Oh, great. Yeah. What a fun label. And so they use mm. your chocolate recipe in this? Well, no, they don't use our chocolate recipe in it, but this is a wonderful accompaniment to our chocolate sauces with a, a not too sweet kind of cracker or say those chocolate tortillas. Speaking of cracker, cracker open. Cracker Let's open. Let's get after it and have <laughs> some chocolate try chips a little and chocolate sauce. Can I dip in there? Try, try a little chocolate oh, port. Oh, geez, sure. I'm getting denied. Oh, we don't. We have oh, to have a, a cork. It's a cork. Yeah, we're going to get fueled up for We'll weather. get a corkscrew so that we can try a little with all of these different flavors throughout yes. the show. So we can find you today, right, Karen Day? Absolutely. At either farmer's market. We'll be at Edwards today and okay. we'll be at Vale tomorrow. And you know, our website is Izzybell, I-Z-Z-Y-B-E-L-L-E, chocolate, that's okay. all one word, dot com. And there you can find, we're in about 23 retailers now, mm -hmm. and we do, we've do we done 11 farmer's markets this summer. Ooh, so you're not giving woman. it away anymore? No, nope. except to us. I like it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Good to see you this morning. Yeah, thanks so much for I'm joining ready to us. Dig in. We're going to be right back. We're going to give you an insider scoop about the Democratic National Convention coming to town. We have a Washington insider here, and he's going to let us know more about it. Plus, Ken's up next with the weather.